Hi guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're having an exciting video on the new Twisby Swipe. Uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing, see what's inside, and we're going to be doing a, a quick comparison with how it writes to other uh, similar pens of a good price point. So first we're going to start off by talking about the brand Twisby. Um, it's a Taiwanese brand um, and it's best known for its uh, Eco and Diamond 580. We have the Eco here and what's so special about uh, Twisby's pens are the built-in uh, converters which hold so much ink which is why uh, the Swipe has so much hype um, because there is supposedly a uh, a separate converter and an option for cartridges. So that's super exciting and I uh, can't wait to take a look. So here we have the box for the new Twisby Swipe. Uh, it's a pretty small compact box, uh, so nice and portable. I really like the cardboard design on the exterior. It's a bit more fun than just like the plain brown uh, craft paper looking box for the other pens. Um, and inside it uh, has the plastic um, container for the actual pen. Um, it's it's uh, pretty neat. I can't wait to, to see what's going on inside the box. So here's all of the contents that are in the box. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a lot to take in at first, but uh, we have two different converters. This one is the piston and this one is a spring-loaded converter. Uh, we have the very exciting new uh, cartridge and of course the pen. So the first thing that we'll talk about is the piston converter. Uh, it's much like any other converter. Uh, you just simply twist up and down to get the ink in. Uh, this one has a little ball on the inside just to help the ink flow um, and the pen to not uh, burp is the technical term. Um, and so this is uh, style number one. And then uh, option number two for your converter is this spring-loaded one. Uh, this one takes a little bit of uh, more force, but you just simply press it down and up. Um, and so that's how those two guys work. So now for the exciting reveal of the cartridge system uh, here that comes with the Twisby Swipe. Uh, it also comes with a little spring, uh, which will go on the top to just help keep the uh, tip of the cartridge in contact with the nib feed. Uh, it has like a little instructions um, on uh, the box. Um, it says that it's not necessarily needed during normal use, so you can choose whether or not to include the spring. So as you can see, we have a variety of car uh, cartridges here. Um, starting with the Lamy, uh, we have a Platinum, we have our lovely Twisby, and a Koweiko cartridge. As you can see, this uh, Twisby cartridge holds so much ink. It's so much uh, wider than the other cartridges here and it's pretty tall as well. Um, and if you take a look closely at the top, it seems like the uh, standard little short cartridge that Koiko makes has a very similar top to the Twisby one. So uh, I think you could probably try uh, putting this guy in instead and uh, and yeah, but this one is a lot bigger and will hold a lot of ink. So, uh, because of the new cartridges that the Swipe carries, uh, Twisby has come out with their, uh, separate cartridge sets that you can buy, uh, separately. Um, it comes with 10 cartridges in a box, and because each cartridge holds so much ink, I can imagine this lasting you for a very long time, so it's a great deal for your money. So now we're on to the fun part of the video where we're going to be testing out the Twisby Swipe on this Marmon uh, notebook. It's got the little dot grid on it. Super cute. Um, first you can see the uh, two colors of pens that we have here. This one is the smoke which you've been seeing and then this is a really beautiful uh, deep Prussian blue um, is the color. It's uh, more matte, you can't see through it, whereas like this one's a little translucent so you can see like the neat mechanism on the inside. Uh, which is always fun. 
Um, and then we're also going to try it out with the uh, Pilot Metropolitan. It's another pen at a similar price point. And finally, uh, we're going to try it out with a Lamy Safari. And then we're just going to compare it uh, how the swipe feels compared to the uh, Twisby Eco. So um, let's get rolling. So um, I'm now going to share some of my thoughts of the differences between how these pens wrote. Uh, the Twisby Swipe wrote absolutely beautifully on this Maruman paper. Um, the ink was laid down very smoothly, it was very silky to write on, and the uh, squitch scratch sounds was just like so tasty. Um, and then the uh, Safari, uh, it also felt a similar kind of level of smoothness to the Swipe. The Retro I found had a little bit more feedback, but um, that is a great thing for some people of course too, I enjoy it. And then the Eco and the Swipe wrote actually very similarly, uh, for obvious reasons. I would highly recommend the Twisby Swipe for any beginner fountain pen user and um, even experienced ones. Uh, so without much further ado, uh, please give this video a like, share, and subscribe. Um, we are going to have future videos comparing different nib sizes, and uh, please stay tuned to our channel. I hope you enjoyed your video, and have a great day.